Hey guys, this is how I designed, built, and 3D printed a homemade jet surfboard from scratch. So I started off with 3D printing the jet unit, and the quality is pretty good. And I got the nozzle and the impellers all 3D printed as well. And I got a um, two stroke 50cc, pretty much a weed eater motor, and bolted that up to it all with a clutch and with a stainless shaft and coupling and this is how I built it and tested it out I'm going to use two of these motors and yeah, I'm just going to chop the board in half So it had a few leaks, just had to fix them up, but we're still in testing phases, so... Alright, update, I put some expanding foam in there, so now it's not moving anywhere. Just got to trim, trim the excess, put a plastic here, and then now I'm sorting up the dual throttle cable. So two into one. This one here, like that, and it's going to have a kill switch, and then we'll take it for a ride in the ocean. I've just fixed it up, just had a few problems with the engine mounts and the engines cutting out and I've 3D printed some different impellers so we're here to test it out 
in the spa again. So yeah, let's see how we go. Alright, so update. It's not that reliable, so everything keeps breaking on it. So recently the uh, engine mounts has snapped. The um, water keeps getting in the where the spark is and shorting the spark. And the pull cord recently stuffed out, but I fixed it, kind of. And yeah, a few other issues. This coupling came loose. But I'll hopefully fix it up and then get back to you. I've now got two throttle cables, so I can have one in each hand, but we'll see how that goes. And I've taken the air cooling off, because I'm only running it for five minutes at a time, so it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't get too hot, but one day I'll do water cooled. So now we'll start it up. So to water cool it, I'm going to wrap around this copper tubing, wrap it all the way around the cylinder and then flow with water through this and that should hopefully cool it down.
pretty hot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Water keeps getting in there. Must be a fuel problem. So she ran pretty good, but just a few issues of this water getting in the spark. So that's got to be fixed. So I'm going to put a cover over the top, and that should keep the water out. And also, I would rather have one throttle so I can stand up better. But yeah, tune in for part two.